This is Dave Weinstein, home of DaveWeinsteinCPA.com and home of the short-term rental income forecast. A downloadable Excel workbook that you can use for your own purposes. It's a do-it-yourself model and it's simple. It doesn't involve taxes. But for taxes, you need to get somebody like myself who can, who can project your taxes over time. You know, I don't, you can't project when job changes are going to happen, those types of things. Anyway, leave that for another day. I want to talk about accounting. Folks, when a new Airbnb host comes to me, they say, Dave, what kind of accounting system do I use? And I ask him, well, what, what, what are you doing? And he say, well, I'm having an Airbnb, I'm renting out a room in my house, or I'm getting just one property. And then those folks, they say, okay, you know what? You can, you can go with QuickBooks Online or even the Wave app, it's free. It'll, it'll do you just fine. And whatever shortcomings, we, we can take care of at the end of the year. But then there are folks who come to me and you say, Dave, I wanna be a complete Airbnb host. I wanna leave my job even. And then those folks, they don't wanna hear it, to be quite honest. They wanna keep using QuickBooks Online or Wave Accounting or whatever. And what I say to them is they say, look, for a few extra dollars, you can get cloud hosting. There's a company out there called Coral, which will, will even do it cheaper than most cloud hosting, which is 60 to 70 bucks. They'll do a um, version swap where you go online and it automatically updates. It, again, it's for another day. But folks, here's, here's what I wanna tell you. For those people who wanna make this a full-time gig and, and make a go at it, invest the money. And we're not even talking, we're talking about one oil change, maybe get you the QuickBooks desktop, Sage 100, or any other host of more advanced desktop accounting. Not something that's cute that goes on your phone that you can take pictures with, but get the, the QuickBooks accounting. And here's why. Purchase orders. It sounds boring, but let me just tell you why. Number one, it shows intent. You're gonna buy a couch, you're gonna do home repair. How does the IRS know that that's not your own home? And you're laughing, ha ha, he he, they can't. Well, if you can't, you know what they say? <laughs> See you later, we're not allowing it. Get a purchase order shows that business intent that this is a business purchase. And it also, when you can run, when you run reports, you can see that the expenses are regular and customary. Whereas versus just having an invoice or paying things willy nilly, you can't justify. There's nothing that shows the, the continuation, the customary nature of the payments. Second thing with a purchase order is you can put the property in and let the vendor know. So now the vendor puts on his invoice the property that you ordered either the repairs for or a new, new couch or appliances, whatever it may be. Um, even if it's shipped to a central location. So that's showing business intent. Second thing is, is we can now do a classified financial statement. Landscape financials. The, again, landscape financials that will show the differences between each property. Which property should we do home decorating on? Which home should we, we advertise more? Which property we should buy in the future that's like the properties that we're having success in? Which properties aren't we having success in? Again, this is what an accounting system does, folks. The financial, and then you get together with somebody like me and I can give you net present values, internal rates of return, we can be like the professional, we will be like the professional real estate investors we all want to be. Now, folks, this is Dave Weinstein, home of the short income rental forecast, which you can download, DaveWeinsteinCPA.com. I love this business. I get free consultation. So don't hesitate to call me, and I look forward to speaking to you next. Thank you.